after a uh, very cold week and uh, a mild case of the flu it is now time to uh, test the old Kerger again and uh, find out if my uh, improvements and uh, repairs have uh, worked out let's uh, start with a uh, speed test see how far my uh, calculations are off I'll set it uh, to 10 Hz this way we know uh, immediately how many RPMs a, uh, a 10 Hz increment is eighty five uh, rpm and that's a bit faster than the uh, eighty rpm i uh, expected but it's pretty close ten hertz twenty thirty forty fifty sixty seventy eighty ninety a hundred at about 70 Hertz the motor starts uh, vibrating and uh, you can really hear that it's probably an unbalance but it might also be the uh, bearings working themselves loose again in the uh, housing not sure um, nothing I can do about this for now but uh, I guess I will start looking for a better motor. Now let's do a uh, headstock tailstock alignment test and that's something uh, I wasn't able to test before because of the uh, tailstock damage. Um, a problem I fixed a long time ago by cutting a new Morse taper into the uh, tailstock ram. I set the uh, top slide to 30 degrees using my uh, trusty uh, protractor. The uh, scale on the uh, cross slide is uh, pretty much unreadable, just like uh, my other leaf. I'm running at 60 hertz. I adjusted the tool height I think that was pretty good let's see how things line up That doesn't look very good. Let's uh, fix the uh, tailstock, see if that makes a difference. Nope. Nope. I don't think I can hold the scale between that. I think uh, my eyes are uh, deceiving me. That uh, worked better than expected. I think we should uh, center drill something. I think it's probably a good idea to line up the top slide uh, while I still have that uh, freshly turned uh, pointy bit in the chuck. As you can see my uh, test uh, indicator stand uh, finally arrived. It only took uh, well five months longer than the uh, indicator itself 
but it's here and it's a lot more convenient to set up than my uh, big old Mac base I think this is good enough as you can see the uh, chuck is running much better than during the uh, previous test I think it had uh, about 3 tenths run out before and you can read through this chuck using these uh, adjustment screws this is actually uh, quite an interesting chuck it was uh, made using a uh, patent uh, by a uh, Dutch inventor from uh, 1946 let's uh, phase off this uh, test piece and then I can finally do that uh, center drill test still running at uh, 60 Hz It's a bit rough. Looks like a bit of uh, metal welded itself to the uh, to the tool bit. better but uh, far from perfect I have no idea what kind of material this is so uh, this is pretty good let's uh, send it That was still 60 Hz, but the uh, motor starts to uh, well, vibrate. Well, the show must go on. Slowing it down to 50 Hz. It might be uh, working itself a bit loose. Center drilling work fine, but uh, I have a new problem. I've uh, tightened up the uh, bolts that uh, hold down the electric motor. Hopefully, uh, that helped. Here we go. It may have helped a little. And this here is a uh, 10 millimeter drill of uh, questionable quality. Here we go. And 
I'll slow down the lathe to uh, 30 hertz. Let's see if it uh, still works at 20 hertz. Let's uh, check 10 hertz as well. I doubt that this uh, will work. The uh, motor is uh, starting to object. It's moaning a little. But we're still drilling. At these uh, slow speeds, uh, you probably gotta be careful not to overheat the motor. And it might need an extra fan for cooling. Let's speed it up again. All right, that went better than expected. One more uh, challenge. This is an uh, 18 millimeter tapered drill bit. Twenty hertz. So far, so good. The uh, camera battery died, but the hole got drilled uh, without any problem. I'm sorry, you guys uh, missed uh, seeing and uh, hearing that. Anyway, I. Uh, stop testing now because I know enough and uh, the motor vibration problem seems to be getting worse the lathe on the other hand uh, seems to work fine at least just as good as my uh, other old lathe and I was uh, kinda surprised with the amount of power that was available at a uh, low frequency although it uh, might not do so well when the uh, workpiece has a uh, bigger uh, diameter but uh, I think I should be able to improve the uh, low end power by selecting an uh, other uh, volt hertz curve in the uh, frequency drive but for that uh, I need to uh, study the manual I'm going to open up the motor again maybe I can uh, improve it a bit but I think I will need to look for another one and I'm also going to try and uh, improve the uh, mounting situation because uh, a wooden riser block and uh, a wooden bench I don't think it's uh, rigid enough if I keep this motor and pulley it will need to be turned down because um, you can already see uh, the belt wearing on the side and that's not good I will also uh, need to switch to a uh, thicker uh, oil because the uh, ISO uh, 68 uh, hydraulic oil the same as I'm using on my uh, other lathe it just uh, runs out too quickly there really is nothing that uh, keeps the uh, oil inside the bearings they are completely open on both sides. I'm uh, probably going to use uh, uh, some sort of uh, molybdenum grease, but uh, I still haven't decided yet. Anyway, that's it for me. To be continued. One more uh, thing. My uh, cheap Chinese lathe keeps giving me headaches. I had the motor apart and it's uh, running quiet again no idea what caused the problem or uh, what fixed it so uh, that's pretty annoying so while uh, the belts are still off I thought I'd uh, try and uh, fix a uh, oil leak on the input shaft here 
the uh, oil sometimes uh, gets on the belt and uh, then it starts slipping in uh, top gear. Inside here I uh, found a uh, mangled up uh, ball bearing uh, cage and as you can see the uh, ball bearings are now no longer uh, evenly spaced. They are also a bit sticky, at least some of them. Luckily there's a, a second uh, ball bearing race behind this one so it uh, still worked but uh, this might be the reason why my lathe uh, sounded uh, rather bad. I should take it apart and uh, replace the broken bearing. Unfortunately some uh, idiot used a polyurethane kit to seal up the headstock and now the uh, same idiot cannot remove the uh, headstock cover. I guess the uh, idiot thing to do would be just close it up without the uh, uh, ball cage and hope for the best because uh, that exploded uh, view looked rather complicated anyway. 